We've gotten to the point where like you can just do whatever you want. Link, trash, pile. Konami sees fun, diverse formats and says, nah, that ain't it, chief. I despise Link trash in modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Dueling Wave here to drop some street knowledge. You are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. I hope you're all coming here with peace and lightheartedness, and I hope that life has not dunked on you too hard. Uh, before we deep dive into the topic of today's video, I just want to point out to you guys that you guys should follow me on the social medias. Uh, I got Discord, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff, especially the Discord, join. There's a lot of goodies on there, I'm trying to build a community, so check it out in the description below. Anyways, let's get into the video. I can't take full credit for this idea because one of my buddies and my testing partners came up with this name, Link Trash Deck, Link Trash Piles. I think he's onto something. Am I tripping or has every deck degenerated into generic Link Piles with no drawbacks or limitations concerning their gameplay? We can take a look at the most recent example. Snake Eyes, Fire King, Fire Pile. A lot of these decks have the name Pile. That's something really interesting, something that needs to be noted for the future. These decks, both of them, well, I guess Snake Eyes more so. Snake Eyes was designed with Link Spam in mind. Why else would they not have tuners, random levels, I guess like level one, level eight are like the main ones. It's kind of like how Flu has the 110 gimmick. This is like one and eight regardless. And also they recruit as much material to the field as possible, right? It's not uncommon to have just like your whole board filled up with like material before you even go in. Snake Eyes Flamberge Dragon was made to a Link Spam. Why else does he float into two, not one, two materials? And those materials, if they haven't used their effects this turn, can search, right? Like Ash, Poplar, Oak can reborn, and he can spell and trap a card and summon it back from the spell and trap zone, right? That doesn't restrict anything. You can do a link monster. You can literally special summon whatever you want. Boral sword, I don't know, in the link zone. Here he is, link four, four materials for free. These monsters are overtuned advantage engines that have no limitations, so they default become the best pile deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. Why run some third deck over there if you can just spend a G cool thousand and you get guaranteed easy wins of course some of the best players in the game use snake eyes fire king or pure snake eyes so nothing to take away from them they've innovated they've truly expressed skill uh, in tournaments i mean there's a reason the same guys are winning even if it's this deck i'm not ignorant to that fact but what i am talking about is those absolute bums you know who they are and you know who you are who threw down a cool thousand to what win locals they now think they're an amazing Yu-Gi-Oh player that knows technical play and blah 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 because they have this massive advantage engine that just gets some uh millions and millions of cards where your opponent just drowns in the advantage and they win not every time but a lot of times by default in the words of Jeff Bobson, ha ha ha. Link monsters have deviated from being just enablers where like they allow you arrows or maybe whatever, uh, protection on your board or something, just some additional beneficial effect. For the most part at first, they weren't even that. They were just enable you to use extra deck, right? But they've gone from that to being the default extra deck mechanic that you use to summon. They're full on extenders, end board pieces, starters. I mean, how many times does a deck just get a link one? One that basically can turn any normal summon in their whole deck into a, a starter. I mean, we've seen it time and time again. You want OTKs, you want negates, you want reborn, you want draw, you want discard fodder, send to the whatever you want. Links got you. These cards that were in the main deck, these effects, these type of devastating type of effects, like the solemn cards and whatnot. No, no, no. Now they're just generic extra deck monsters. More so links, but the links also enable stuff like Barone which is almost an honorary link. Chaos Angel is a link. We can ag agree on that. You, It's a link that you have to add the levels, which I'm pretty sure there isn't there some links that do deal with levels a little bit. I'll preface before I get even more into it. Uh, I enjoy modern Yu-Gi-Oh. The last two formats before Phantom Nightmare, uh, late the early 2024, late 2023, those are some of the best formats in Yu-Gi-Oh's history. A variety, you can take almost anything you want to a tournament and have success that being said konami does randomly like to just throw in these tier zero aids formats for no reason instead of allowing for you know uh, skill expression and deck building uh, meta calls deck choices obviously no uh, now the innovation in Yu-Gi-Oh is basically run the same 38 cards and then like your two tech choices are like what were your innovation on the deck your little tech cards i ran this spicy tech 
Uh, so this deck is basically completely innovated by me just because I ran two cards deviated from the standard list that everyone runs. This format, you have a choice. Get really good at the fire mirror or run some tier three rogue garbage and lose to a deck that's inherently designed to be way, way better than yours. Konami sees fun, diverse formats and says, nah, that ain't it, chief. But to get back, I'm, I'm going off topic a little bit. To get back to the topic at hand, it, it all relates, but I want to kind of make my thoughts more concise. The interesting thing is that the Snake Eyes cards, they don't read like the most broken cards in the world. It's, that's the little trick, the little nuance that you don't see coming. And uh, if you guys don't believe me, look at the anticipation of Phantom Nightmare. Uh, everyone thought Fire King Snake Eyes would be the deck, and it seems to be that Pure Snake Eyes is actually the better variant in the TCG, possibly because Maxi and whatnot. But... Uh, the Snake Eyes cards weren't viewed as the most broken cards. They were viewed as like the enabler that allowed just this whole thing to go, right? Like Princess is probably one of the most busted cards in that deck. And, and Flamberge is really, really busted. But Flamberge was a $3 secret rare because no one saw the power of it until some of the new, newer cards were uh, announced and released. Also, these cards don't read as insane as like tier cards. Like read tier cards and tell me they don't read way more insane than the fire king or the snake eyes cards most certainly more than the fire king card the snake eye cards for the most part still tier if it was full power tier in this format uh, i'm pretty sure tier would dunk on this this deck easy money uh, if you guys disagree let me know in the comments what you think but this fire pile deck all it does is just recruit bodies right the inherent design was for you to spam link monsters why? Because they don't have any limitations. There's no xenophobia. You can't, you can mix it with whatever you want. I mean, look, there's a Cash Tira Snake Eyes deck running around. Like, that's how generic everything's gotten in the game. You can mix anything you want and it works. Modern era means no limits placed on these cards at all. There's no, you can only link summon that turn or you can only XYZ or you can, no, it's do whatever you'd like. Whatever you can think of, do it. F it. We don't care. They essentially read like cards from 2008, designed by a dude from 2008, but with the power level of 2024, right? They just removed, you know how like we always talk about the text bloat on Yu-Gi-Oh cards where it's like, oh man, half of this is not even effect, half of it's restriction. They just deleted that. They just said, nah, we don't need that fam. Can't find one limitations, not a single one. Use any one of their effects, use all of their effects, plus 1,000 in the turn, drown your opponent what in absolute card advantage, then take that advantage and make link plays that just snowball the effect like how Flamberge does. Ash can literally search itself. The cards are, this card gets this card, which this card then gets this card. This card uses this to summon this from the deck. That thing goes to the spell and trap zone. And now you use these two, the one that was spell trapped, and this guy sent it to grave so you can summon the big bungus, who then can, when he goes to the grave, plus another, like you were born two cards, and then you make the link three, which reborns him, where he can then spell trap the link two you used, and it's just like, what is going on? This is breaking every rule uh, of like logical card design possible. Like BAs, not to hype on like a BAs, but BAs blow themselves up when something that isn't them is on the field. We've gotten to the point where like, you can just do whatever you want. Link, trash, pile. Don't believe me yet? Menadium. So every deck in the Visus lore has a certain summoning mechanic, right? Tear works with fusion summoning. They mill, fuse from the graveyard. It's a crazy mechanic, but it's still, for the most part, focused on fusion summoning, and then they can make like Barone and whatnot. But overall, every deck in their mother makes Barone. I'm pretty sure like frogs can make Barone. Scareclaw does Lynx, uh, Kashtira does XYZ, uh, and then we get to Menadium. And Menadium does Sync... No, hold on a minute. Look at any list that's topped in the last year. Majority of their deck is Lynx for Lynx spam. Pretty sure Konami, when they made Menadium, was really, really looking forward to you see uh, you spam with Cross Sheep. But that is an unintended side effect. But Menadium is just the most egregious offender. E Tier still did Link Summons. Like a lot of these other decks did Link Summons. I mean, I think it got Sprite Elf banned, right? Sprites didn't. Tier did. I say you ban all the Links, even the bad ones. F it. What's the what's the big deal? Proxy F Magician too broken. Cash Tira can literally Link Spam. Somehow, the deck that's supposed to be locked into XYZs can Link Spam. G Golem plays and whatnot. Just when I see blue cards, I just I freeze up. I, I, I can't stand it. I hate it. Come on over here. Come on over here. No, you flip me off. Come on, coward. No, no, no. Come on. You're not an intellectual. You're a fake and a fraud. More examples. Dragon Link. 
a deck that consists of random dragon cards that have been released throughout history. Just pile them together, summon a bunch of dragons, snowball massive advantage, link, link, synchro, blah, 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 bam, you have your end board. Here's my end board of links and uh, the good old boys. Another example, before circular was banned, Mathmech was a link pile, Cybers link pile. A deck that was supposed to be a synchro oriented deck just became a link Cybers pile. Link trash. Another example, Rika plants. What is that deck? Please tell me. Oh, oh, it's another link trash pile. I think they're called piles because they're piles of excrement. That is one big pile of shit. For the game. <laughs> Haha! -ha. They spam link monsters. Their entire enabler uh, for their engine is, what do we know it? If, we, if anyone watched the video of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh's getting way too generic, you uh, saw how much I had disdain for the Link Reigns pack, where a lot of these cards deserve to be hit. Roma Seraphy Jasmine, another offender from stupid Link Reigns pack that was meant to somewhat fix the game. All it did was just ruin the game into oblivion even more. Oh, and guess what? I forgot about Dragon Link. They use Spheres, which is another uh, Link Reigns uh, card that's just way too overtuned and broken. Sad as I am to say it, another example, Unchained. What's Unchained? Basically, it's become Fiend Pile. When they hit Sharvara, the pure deck essentially fell off completely, and now you're just trying to turbo into two Fiends on the field so you can make Yama. Oh, what's uh, what's Labyrinth, DDD, Ubel? God knows what else. What, what does it all have in common? Oh, uh, we can put two Fiends on the field, and then that'll let us end with a Rage with the Escape set. Wow, that's amazing. So skilled. Generic cards with no limitations into what they can go into you have piles of excrement of plants fiends dragons cybers I th technically infernoble was sort of a uh, warrior pile it, it, it little it was just uh, not generic enough to make it not that but you could see where in the future that could sort of snowball into that direction sprite was a generic two pile the number two, just combine number two, two, like I said in past videos, take two of your friends, you can XYZ summon a gigantic sprite. The list goes on and on and on. Whatever. I've probably missed a bunch of decks at this point. Whatever I've missed, any other pile decks that you guys can think of, let me know in the comments because genuinely I want to know how bad of a problem this actually is in the game because these are just some of the ones that I came off the top of my head, but without actually sitting down and thinking, there's got to be way more. If you don't want a awful for the game generic pile to run, you can run decks like Branded, Sword Soul, Flu, what else? Can't even say like Rescue Ace because that's a link pile. Those are the extent of your choices. Great. Love it. And the problem is more than likely only going to get worse from here. I remember the game before. Xyz summoning felt revolutionary. It allowed for a toolbox style of gameplay where you can just, I'm playing with my deck, Maybe I have like a one monster that like a Dante or whatever, but then I have like a bunch of rank threes that are just solid in certain situations, but you don't go into them every game. You go into them every once in a while. It's not uncommon that these generic link piles go through all 15 cards in their extra deck on turn one, making their combo. 10 for sure, minimum. Links have broken the game. It feels like in every way, they're better than everything else that came before them. And it's not even close. I know they've been around for a while, but the problems are just getting more and more exacerbated. Links have been out the shortest amount of time, and there's as many links banned as all other mechanics combined in the game. Just go check the ban list if you don't believe me. But what do you think? You think I'm reaching, or are links awful for game design and game health in general? I think if anyone played older formats pre-link, you'd see how much healthier the game was before it is now. But, you know, don't want to come off too boomery. Either way. Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. It really helps. Uh, otherwise, check out this video and see ya.